excited about the guys that we got. We're excited about the character of the guys we got. Um, but now that it's, they got to go do it, you know, and, and they got to go perform. And uh, as we know, it's an adjustment coming from college football to the NFL. Um, but um, I, I think that just if you would have even said to me, I was just thinking about it after the draft, you would have said to me that, um, you know, a week ago that this would have been the players that we got. And I would have said, you know, uh, what picks do we have to use in the future to go get those guys? Hello, everyone. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. And today I will be talking how we rose, man, how he drive. And man, the recap, I got to give the recap. And also, I want to talk about the undrafted, um, undrafted rookies, of course. I want to talk about them as well. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Salute. Salute to Howie Roseman. Gotta give him an A. I had to give him an A. Get Nicole Dean. Get Jordan Davis. Who? Mm, it's okay. You you get um, Jurgens, who Kelsey handpicked. To me, that guy that we got in the sixth round, trying to think of his name, Kyron Johnson. Like him a lot. Sixth round pick. A guy that can just go get the rusher i mean go get the passer sleepy go get the passer he's that type of guy he is that type of guy i like the tight end he's familiar with jalen hurts obviously they both was in oklahoma he ended up going to smu so they good friends and i like what jalen hurts is doing he's calling these guys like look we rain chasing that's what he told um jordan davis like we're going to we trying to get a ring we are trying to get a ring, and I think Howie Roseman surrounded Jalen Hurts with the pieces. You go get an A.J. Brown. Big. That was the huge surprise of the draft. That overlooked what Arizona did with Hollywood Brown. Because A.J. Brown, man, he's just a difference maker. And a lot of people have been saying, like, well, now it's on Jalen Hurts. Now Jalen Hurts have to be that guy. I think he's that guy. Hmm. Put my bets all. I'm all in. I'm all in. I think Jalen Hurts is that guy. Howie Roseman is taking a lot of criticism of how the secondary look. Didn't get nobody really out. Didn't get nobody at all out the draft as far as cornerback or safety. He did speak about Honey Badger. He said, you know, we've been talks, but it's nothing intimate. Like, not really sure what's going on. But, of course, he's not going to put his show his hand he's not going to show his hand at all so i think honey badger is coming i think is every is Xavier rose or one of those guys are coming probably gonna have honey badger on the multi-year deal is Xavier rose is probably going to be on the one-year deal and i think that's what we're gonna rock with but the undrafted guys he got is really good to do out of alabama i think his name is uh, Josh Job or something like that. He's really good. The guy we got out of Clemson, I think he's the highest paid undrafted um, rookie. He's the highest paid. So that lets you know what we think of him or what he can be with the Philadelphia Eagles. That guy out of Clemson that we got is very, very good. And obviously, I got to talk about the obvious. Carson Strong. Carson Strong. I think that was a great signing by Howie Roseman. I know you guys know I love Jalen Hurts, but I think Carson Strong was a great signing. Obviously, he was the best quarterback out of the undrafted guys. Second, he's going to be a great backup to Jalen Hurts. He has the arm, but he doesn't have the mobility. But he got a rocket, man. He definitely got a rocket. I think he, he was top-tier talent. But the thing with him is it's the injuries and I think the lack of mobility is a few things there that obviously he need to work on. He kind of remind me of a less mobile Malik Willis, I would say, if you had to compare him to somebody that got drafted. He's kind of like that, but not being mobile in this league can cost you. But you see, guys, Tom Brady can still do it. We've seen Nick Foles play at a high level. So, I, I don't know, but a lot of these guys, even um, Patrick Mahomes, he got some wheels. He's not the fastest, but he could move a bit. But when you look at guys like Kirk Cousins and things like that, those dudes are kind of fizzling out. Matt Ryan fizzling out. A lot of these guys can move. 
And also, I think the Carson Strong thing, it sets up us trading Garner Minshew. That's what I think is going to happen. We're going to trade Garner Minshew. Um, he's going to go somewhere else, probably like the Texans or some, go somewhere where he can compete and try to start because he want to be a starter. But now you got competition there. I think we got another quarterback too, but I had to double check that. But Carson Strong being a backup, that's one hell of a backup. I'm not even mad at that, but you're not going to convince me like this dude is competition to Jalen Hurts after Howie Roseman got Jalen Hurts' guys. Jalen Hurts' influence in the league is impeccable. It's impeccable, but I like the Car uh, Carson Strong si signing. I like the two cornerbacks, one from Alabama, one from Clemson. I like those signings, and of course, I love the draft. I love the draft. Jurgens. now that pick looks great. Because he was able to get N'Kobe Dean. Uh, I like the defensive end we got. I know we call him a linebacker, Johnson. Like the tight end we got. Tight ends, it looked like we're going young. It looked like it's going to be Dallas Goddard, Jack Stoll, and the young tight end we just got today. And um, I, I like everything. How we Roseman so far get an A. After we were just criticizing him a month ago. Flipped it, man. I can't lie. I cannot lie, but hey, what do you think and how do you feel about the undrafted rookies we signed, the rookies we got in the draft, and what grade do you give Howie Roseman? But this is Al Kabeda, analyst, Ghost.